We are joined by our General Manager of Football, Simon Lloyd, for the Round 23 Health Update. Thanks, Jim HBA. In exciting news, Lloydy, we have three players that will return to some sort of football this weekend after time on the sidelines. First up, Toby Conway. Can you tell us about him? Yeah, so Toby uh, didn't play last week. Uh, he uh, rolled his ankle at training uh, last Wednesday. And um, the two previous games to that, speaking to uh, Matthew Egan and Mark Corrigan, they thought his, his ruck work, his footwork and his strength had been outstanding. So it'd be great to see Toby run around again this weekend. And what about Sam Simpson? Sam Simpson had the pin removed from his hand and uh, has regained um, almost full strength. And uh, it's great news, Sam Simpson will play this week. And finally, Cam Guthrie will play some type of football this weekend. Yes, yeah, so um, some type of football, uh, that's something that's to be determined over the next couple of days and uh, Cam Guthrie is available to play. He's uh, super excited and uh, has been running really well, hitting all his metrics, so can't wait to see the number 29 running, running around this weekend. And looking ahead to the game against the Saints on Saturday night, can you update us on Tom Hawkins? So Tom Hawkins uh, has been running, he'll full train on Wednesday and uh, we will need to work through his availability for selection uh, later this week. And Gary Rowan was subbed out on the weekend. Can you tell us a bit more about his injury? Yeah, so Gary Rowan, it was very hard to assess live. Uh, it was an awkward uh, injury at the time and uh, our medical team uh, live was saying, well, there's an, an adductor, a hip and a bit of hamstring that they were trying to work through. Hence, while well, we scan these things on a, on a Monday and work through our assessment and uh, unfortunately, um, uh, Gary has a moderate hamstring injury and uh, he'll miss this week and, and potentially you know, weeks after that. And Reese Stanley also didn't um, finish the game out on the weekend. Can you give us an update on how he's going? Yeah, so Reese uh, had a groin adductor injury and uh, we'll assess that, see how he, how he uh, travels on, on Wednesday at main training and uh, make a decision there. And ahead of main training tomorrow, big man John Segler will train after coming back from a lower back issue. Yeah, so Seggs has been battling a lower back issue for a period of time and uh, he's tried to work through every avenue to try and get himself up to play and uh, we'll see how he, how he travels tomorrow and um, yeah, hope, hopefully he gets through. And what about Mark Blitzarves? We saw him out on the track last week running. Yeah, Mark Blitzarves, we're, we're trying to pull back the reins a bit on, on Mark at the moment. He's hitting some high speeds and uh, moving really well. So very happy with how he's tracking and uh, obviously will still be a couple more weeks. And young cat Oscar Murdoch is making progress from a calf injury. How's he tracking? Yeah, so Oscar missed three weeks with a calf injury and uh, will be assessed on, on Wednesday and at the latter part of the week to see whether he's available for selection in this week's VFL game against the Giants. And looking long term, Jack Henry has had surgery on a list Frank injury. How's he feeling? Yeah, so uh, Jack was in earlier part of the week and has had the uh, plaster removed and now has begun the reconditioning program. So great to see uh, Jack back up and about and, and really with a Liz Frank injury that'll be a, a, a four month injury so after four months you know he'll hit you know the early part of pre-season and be ready to go for next year. And our VF, VFL boys will play their final game of the season this weekend and unf unfortunately young pair Jai Clark and James Willis will remain on the sidelines for that game. How are they going with their respective injuries? Yeah so um, James Willis uh, obviously had a which I mentioned a couple of weeks ago a hernia operation and He's full running at the moment and uh, he's progressing well. And uh, Jai Clark has always been a couple of weeks behind Cam Guthrie and he's, he's reconditioning. So with it being the last VFL game this week, and unfortunately Jai won't play again this year, but uh, it's a credit to Jai. He's been working with uh, Mark Corrigan on the opposition week in, week out, and uh, he's been building his strength and, and is running really well at the moment. So exciting for Jai and uh, what the future holds. But really for our focus for Jai Clark at the moment is uh, focusing on getting him right for the, for the beginning of pre-season. Great, thanks Lordy. Thank you.